Now, um, you may be wondering why I myself, Mr. Uh, Chef Fortune, is in uh, Mr. Chef Ochoa's kitchen right now. Well, you know, I thought I'd be nice and come over and make him some uh, wonderful Western waffles. So, um, to get started, I always start with uh, the Bisquick, which is my favorite. I mean, I wouldn't go with any other brand besides Bisquick. So, um, you know, first thing about uh, cooking, Measuring cups, yeah, forget them. You just, you just straight up dump it in there. Don't be afraid to use your hands. Never be afraid to use your hands. Don't be afraid to get dirty. See? I'm getting dirty. So, um, we're going to start off using uh, this uh, vegetable oil. My favorite. Oops. See, I told you, don't be afraid to get dirty. Just let it happen. Alright, um, we got the vegetable oil in, and um, next step is to, to crack in with the eggs. So, uh, just, gosh, just hold on, let me, there we go. And now, the shell, you know, I've always been a type of person that would just, like, leave the shells in the mix, just for crunch, and, I don't know, it just gives it more of a, a flavor and a bit of crunchiness. Now that we got the eggs in there, we're going to move to the salt. Now, salt is one of the main ingredients in any recipe. Now, a lot of people are very, I don't know what, don't know what to call it, but they're very picky on how much salt they put in their food. Me, I really don't care. I just put a lot in there. So, um, you get the salt in there. And you might want to mix this up. I mean, we have some other ingredients to add, but just mix it up. Just get it, get it going. Just get those shells in there. You know, crush them up a bit. Get that mix. That's juicy. Just don't be afraid to get your elbow into it. You know what I mean? Just really stir it. Just get into it. All right. Um. That's enough for right now. Um. Now, to really make this wonderful western waffle, you got to add a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs. Now, me being from the south, I love putting breadcrumbs in absolutely everything I make. So, um, no, like again, don't worry about the measurements, just, just put it in there, sprinkle, that's about enough. Um, so yeah, stir the breadcrumbs in, you know, get everything mixed in nice and well. And um, add some of your garlic salt. Add the garlic salt next, and you know that gives it a bit of a, a twang. So um, yeah, just mix everything in, and milk. Don't forget milk. We need milk. Hopefully we have milk. Yes, we do. We have milk. So um, yeah, add the milk. Again, don't worry about measurements. Nobody cares about measurements. Measurements mean nothing in cooking. So, um, just mix it all, mix it all together, and, uh, we'll be ready to, uh, pour and make our wonderful Western waffles. Now, um, my Belgian waffle maker here is nice and hot now, and is ready to make some wonderful Western waffles. So, um, first things first, I'm going to spray it with some Pam. Butter flavor, that's the only flavor you can get. I mean, everything tastes better with butter, right? So just spray it down and um, get the pouring. So um, we're going to pour our batter, be very gentle though, just pour it right on there, right? And just mix it, just get it nice and good in the creases, let it sit in there. Again. If you make a mess, don't worry about that. Nobody cares. I mean, just just go with it. Cooking is all about having fun. So, um, again, just get the batter down into the creases as much as you can. Again, don't worry about the mess. So, yeah. All right. I'm almost done here. Yeah, that's, that's about good. Now... We're going to close the lid. Now, be very careful not to burn yourself. That's why I use this little latch right here. So, um, yeah. We're going to push it down. If it starts pouring out a bit, don't worry about that. 
Again, nobody cares. I hope I'm doing this right. I really don't know. So, um, yeah, in about five minutes, we should be ready and um, should have some wonderful Western waffles. See you in five minutes. Our wonderful Western waffles smell about ready right now. So, um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and open the lid. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Now, what I'm going to do right now is, before I take them out, I'm going to cut them with the spatula. You know, make them nice and pretty. Because, to me, food is like an art. And if you make your food look nice and presentable, I think it just tastes better. So, um, what I'm going to do is get rid of all this excess, whatever you want to call that. I don't know what to call that. So, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, crap. Just don't worry about it. Oh, these are going to be good. Chef Ochoa is going to love this. Mmm, God. He's going to love me for making him this. So, to finish this off, you know, I'm going to be making some bacon and some sausage just to satisfy Mr. Ochoa even more. So, um, yeah. Catch you guys in a, in a bit. Anybody ever wonder when they will see the sun Just remember when come up What are you guys doing when you guys, when you guys did that, Christian? Oh no, I was talking to Ricky and... Like... I don't know. Trip, man. <coughs> Because I was watching Good Luck Charlie and I heard screaming, <coughs> but to be honest, I thought they were having a Mexican party. Because that's what Mexicans are, they get crazy when they, when they party. So, I thought, it was just a Mexican party of the family. And <laughs> Some Mexican party God, with like, the family? I didn't, think, I didn't think nothing of it, because I just heard yelling and I was like, yeah, they're definitely drunk. Having a party. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't think nothing of it. But when you guys ran down, I thought I was like, okay, maybe something is wrong. No, like, Ricky and I were like, sitting there talking in his room and all of a sudden I'm like wait mom. be quiet I'm just like what is this mom yeah I don't want to tell you this but this one's all burnt all right dramatic diva I'm just saying it like it what nah the star the star always got in your head this this oh, one diva. is I swear this all, what no it tastes the, burnt yeah I just bit it into it burn I'm not mom. I'll make sure I I've never told you this, I'm sorry. I've never told you this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, being... Mom, don't hurt me. <laughs> no, I'm just... Like, don't hurt me. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, no, actually, here. There's a piece right here. Take it. Bite it, bite it real fast. Why, what One of you guys. <laughs> no. Bird. Oh, I don't even... Take this. Well, you know what? I know what he's saying. I didn't even, I didn't even take a bird piece. Take this part right here. I'm, I know what, what he's saying. You got something to say? Yeah, um, you've been Chef Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, I don't even know! <laughs>